What's up, Spirit Squad? This is Pixie from Pixie Moons. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are new here, welcome. I make pick a card videos like this one, Reiki videos, videos about spirituality, astrology. So if you vibe with any or all of those things, by all means, subscribe, join the Spirit Squad today. And remember to ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I try to upload at least three videos a week for you guys. I am also on the talk, the gram and the book. All the information is in the description box below. And if you are a returning member of the Spirit Squad, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I'm so happy to welcome you back in this ever growing community. It blows my mind every time. <laughs> and yeah, thanks. You guys, you rock. That's it. Today I am coming at you with a... Um, mini astrology slash reading video about this full moon that we're going to have in the sign of Libra. Let's get into the astrology. If you wish to skip that part entirely and go straight to your pile, um, be my guest. The timestamps are in the box as well. If you want to know more about this full moon, stay tuned. What happens during a full moon? Well, the earth is in between the sun and the moon. So uh, the sun and the moon are opposite each other and the sun is illuminating the moon, the part of the moon that's facing the earth. That's why we see it so big and bright. So they're also in opposing constellations. For this one, the sun is going to be in Aries, the constellation of Aries. But the moon is going to be in the opposite or complementary constellation of Libra. It is very interesting. Aries is about the self. Libra is about the others. Libra, as you know, is also about balance. It is an air sign. It is a cardinal air sign. And it deals mainly with relationships with others, whether they are um, work-related, family-related, or even uh, romantic relationships. It's all about finding balance, basically. Full moons are also a time of completion, as you already know. It's like buttoning the last button on a shirt. A time where things reach their momentum, their climax. It is also a good time for releasing anything that is not vibing with you anymore, as well as reaping the rewards of the seeds that you planted at the beginning of the cycle, uh, during the previous new moon, or even six months before when the new moon was in the same sign. So when the new moon was in Libra six months ago, some of us decided on some things they wanted to do, some projects they wanted to achieve or complete, now is the time for those things to come to fruition and celebrate your achievements. This moon is called a worm moon, <laughs> probably due to the fact that, at least in the northern hemisphere, the worms start kind of coming out of their uh, hiding place. It's a very exciting time. Uh, the days are getting warmer and longer. Uh, things are starting to blossom. I mean, it's all over the place. Allergies, stuff like that. <laughs> it's, it's in your face. It's literally in your face. A little disclaimer before we move on to the readings. I haven't seen the cards. I discover them with you guys, as usual. I pulled answers to yes or no questions. The little colored cards you see at the top. I also have those um, motivational phrases that I'm going to pull live <laughs> for you. I do not have a tarot deck. I use different things. You will see if you don't already know. Energy is fluid, so just take what vibes with you and release the rest. Nothing is set in stone, as I always say. Readings are timeless, even though there is technically a date on it. <laughs> Whenever you catch it is when you were meant to watch it. And remember that I'm confirming things for you guys. I'm not telling you things that you don't already know, even if it's at a subconscious level that you had forgotten. I'm just confirming things for you guys, basically. And for this filming, I'm going to focus 
on relationships. Those readings are not meant to be love readings, but if they happen to turn into a love reading, then so be it. I believe that is all for the PSA. I'm going to drop a thumbnail right here. You can pause the video, pick a part or more, and without further ado, let's get into it. Part number one, if you chose the blue stone. I do not know what this stone is. Please, um, if you do, tell me if it is a stone. It might be a piece of glass. I have no idea, but yeah. This is going to be your reading. I keep the yes or no answer for the end, mantra for the end, and I wanted to pull a card like the overall, um, the overall vibe of this full moon. What is it going to shine a light on for you, basically? I'm only using three decks, but we have quite a few cards. Plus this one that makes it four decks. All right, oh, we got two cards. I only wanted one, but yeah. Okay. So it's like the overall vibe. You have seventeen with the dustpan and the third eye, kind of crown chakra, and okay. 19 with the little ghost so I was telling in the intro if you skipped it that full moons are a time for releasing and this to me this is what those two cards talk about right here something is coming to an end one and nine is ten completion which is what full moons are time of completion and 17, 17 is also the star in the tarot. 19 is the sun. So something is coming to completion to make room for something else. It's like literally cleansing or cleaning away things that don't serve, things that, um, or even relationships, because like I said, this is a full moon in Libra that has to do with relationships. So perhaps relationships that are no longer in alignment with the person you have become or the person you want to become are going to fall by the wayside. Kind of naturally. Um, they're going to like clear themselves in a way. Like a auto-clean. <laughs> you know, like on the ovens? <laughs> But yeah, so that, and those two are like, those two cards are like connected to uh, the third eye and the crown. And I was going to say, uh, this pile is a very intuitive pile. From what I felt. So let's have a look at your cards, you guys. We have number five with the fire eater. Thirty-three, the um, magic powder. So it's like five, six, twenty-five. No, fifty-two. Um, oh god, I forgot the English. I think. It is the mayor's wife. We have root chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra. These are like your relationships. So we have the wheel, 10, another 10. Completion, heart chakra, lots of green. Ooh. 
18. Dude, we have like 17, 18, 19. This is nuts. A lot of heart chakra again. Um, sorry, throat. What is going on? So things are changing in our relationships. Because I see the, the scarab, which to me is like the wheel. I think I called it the wheel earlier, actually. You guys are going with your intuition a lot more and expressing yourself. And perhaps that is why relationships are changing so quickly for some. Or you, you will know it's like it's the time. It's like the time has come for, for those relationships to, uh, to switch in a way. You're switching things up in the relationship uh, department. Some people are not going to like what you have to say. For some of them, it's going to be very harsh. Or you yourself might have harsh words or have harsh words um, said to you. And that's why you will know, like, oh, okay, well, this person um, no longer has a place in my life because they were disrespectful, uh, um, because uh, they don't see things the way I do, and they are giving me shit about it, basically. Or but maybe they like stuck in the past too much, and they uh, they don't agree with the person you have become. If that makes sense. You know me, coffee. They uh, they don't resonate with the person you have become, and they will, They might tell you, literally, like uh, I don't know you anymore. Or you're like a different person, or you have changed so much. I don't recognize you. Things like that. But um, yeah, know your worth and stand your ground. Uh, number five is changes, by the way. And we have like four number ones, which is new beginnings, new starts. And lastly, work. So these are for the intention for work. Seven of pentacles with Batman. Yeah, I see you going at things like what's the um, expression like going at it alone as a lone wolf vibe but also like very driven and uh, because it's every season very assertive very independent yeah like I can do this on my own kind of vibe but um, not proud. It's not not coming from the ego. Just coming from this assertiveness that you know your worth and that you can do it. And we have the Eight of Cups with Sangoku. I love Sangoku. Okay. Eight of Cups. Ah, yeah. So, okay, some of you are um, going out for things. This is very airy season. You go in after things that light you up. So all of this um, self um, self assertiveness, all of this independence and assertiveness that you're feeling you know there is something better out there for you and you know you deserve it so you're gonna go after that and it might be something that you love doing as well that you have thought of doing for a long time but you didn't dare 
or you were kind of, well, what if, and uh, kind of reticent about losing perhaps a certain spot or status in your life, but um, you're ready to work hard for this. And I see you, I see you being victorious <laughs> because of this. This is like, to me, that's what it is. It's like, this is, I got this. Uh, this is like, yeah, but I keep cool at the same time. And it's like, you are betting on yourself. Basically, you are uh, putting all the chips on you. You know you've got this. Oh, dude, this is so cool. So it's like, the change is all around. And you know you've got this because what? Because this. This is my abundance card. Six, balance, full moon in Libra. Oh my God. And, uh, can you see? Money rain, you guys. Money rain. Money rain. Heart chakra, green vibes. The bag, literally. Literally, the bag. This is nuts. You guys, whatever, and this is also giving me a six of wands vibes. You're seeing things differently of the eyes you're a busy bee I was saying you're not you are not going to be afraid of working hard you might be a nerve sign <laughs> again you don't have to be someone rising Venus Taurus Virgo Capricorn you guys new perspective new opportunities with the window uh, I was talking about crown chakra also earlier. And the ankh, this is life. Like you choosing a better life for yourself. That's basically what's happening. You're listening to your intuition. If it is telling you like, um, this person is not for you anymore. And that's fine. Like, not everybody is for us, and we are not for everybody. Some things need to change, and for some of you, they will change very organically, like I was saying at the beginning, just like naturally kind of fall out to make room for something else to grow. And in the work department as well, that you won't be afraid to go after. Uh, the prize. You got your eye on the prize now. And you are much more confident in yourself to do that. Think of a yes or no question. Pause the video if you need to. The answer is it will pass. All right, so whatever you are worried about, know that this is only temporary. This too will pass. Uh, yeah, the only constant thing is change. And let me pull like an affirmation for you guys that you can work with. Like a, a mantra or something. Motivational phrase something like that I'm like super careful with those cards because um, there we go some of them have um, yeah like the, the tape is coming off basically Your affirmation is upside down. Your affirmation is love yourself first. 
Love yourself first. That is how you get more confidence. I love that these are these two are uh, pink as well. Heart chakra again. Put yourself first, even if it means that some relationships are going to change because of that. Not everybody is going to understand where you're coming from. And uh, they don't have to. But if they are judging you for it, then they are not really your friends. If they are judging you for your personal choices, um, maybe you don't need that in your life. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... Power number one, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know, drop a comment. I'd like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit for this beautiful message. And until I see you again, remember, you're protected, you're supported and you're divinely guided. Bye. Number two, if you chose the clear quartz, maybe you guys need clarity <laughs> or something. We will have a look at your cards. First, I wanted to pull like, one card from this deck to give us like an overview of what this full moon going to illuminate for you. But this one turned over. Eight, the car. A sense of direction. Let's have a look at your cards. Right, um, yes or no question. Yeah, at the end and then the mantra also at the end we have 28 the juicer we have a lot of green already hard chakra vibes and uh, also also abundance and nature nature 23 Dia de Muertos, I call this one the Calavera, because that's what it is. Three, this is really funny, the Doctor. So we have Heart, we have Throat and Sacral Chakra. I said it's funny because we have two eights, two twos, and two threes <laughs> so far. This is um, your relationships. Another eight, the papyrus. I was talking about money, right? We have eight, 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 abundance. And this is uh, work, related to work. King of Pentacles, yeah, no biggie. Is this Thor? I think it is, I'm not sure. I'm not Thor. So um, guys, if you know, like drop a comment. There is a seriousness about part number two, I wanna say. You guys, um, very focused I feel like you're very um, into whatever you're doing um, kind of no time for shenanigans kind of vibe some of you might be tempted to walk away from something like turn your back on something that you think is not worth it anymore 
like you deem it is done and you don't want to be involved anymore with whatever this thing is i hope this makes sense i don't know i don't know i was gonna say i don't know who this is for obviously i do not know who this is for <laughs> you guys it's a it's a collective reading um, it's a general reading i mean you will know if this applies to you or not there is something like there is um, this feeling of being done with something because we have 28 2 plus 8 is uh, 10 again completion it's like you guys have sucked the juices out of something like you've sucked it dry and now it's time to walk away. You've given all you could, basically. All you could give. You have dropped the mask. For some of you, this is that. For some of you, this is like feeling drained. No. They're just like... The hat, which to me, I'm thinking about ideas. Like some of you have been working very hard on this and that's why you feel depleted of energy. So I'm feeling that this is mainly like a, a work related kind of uh, reading for you guys. The papyrus, this has to do with relationships. So it could be again like colleagues, relatives, uh, your pets, your children. I don't know why this came up but it did. And this gives me a four of wands kind of vibe. So there is a sense of also like keeping doors open so new people coming in for some of you new people are coming in you're kind of um, keeping an open mind is how I feel it but definitely something with um, drive and direction so some of you might feel fed up with work or something you've been working on and you've given it your all and you're ready to move on to something else because there is a f feeling of, like I said, like you, you guys are feeling depleted of energy and there's a feeling of like um, things are not budging. Something is not budging. And you, you have, like I said, you had, you have made a ton of efforts. You have worked hard, but it kind of feels like you have arrived at a standstill with this, and. Uh, and you choose to walk away and you're at the top of your game because this is the king of pentacles you're at the top of your game but you're choosing to walk away from this or like focus on something else and you see like they're going the same direction so maybe going back to something um, like going back to a, a step of the process that you overlooked or you going back to something else that it was um, you were interested in at the time but you didn't have you, you couldn't complete it for some reason you couldn't get to it you had to work on this one thing so yeah heart chakra is something that is dear to you And then relationships again. Uh, 
in relationships. This is happiness. I feel like as rushed off as you are in your a work life, in your home life, you want things to be very cozy and kind of flow and, and be um, just easy going. Which, who doesn't, really? But yeah, it's kind of like opposites and... Again, this full moon is in the sign of Libra. Balance, you're trying to find a balance between work and home. For some of you, you don't want to... Um, to be rushed off your feet all the time and then go home and crash which is understandable you would like to do something a little bit more creative because of all this orange this so it's about an idea like I said something that you wanted to do and for some reason you were stopped you could not carry on with it you could not complete it Hopefully that speaks to you. You know what I'm talking about. And, and yeah, you're tired of the of the stagnation. So let's have a look at your yes or no answer. You can pause the video if you need to. The answer is the time is right. I mean that <laughs> that fits with the reading. Right? If you're choosing to walk away from something, the time is right. If you're choosing to focus on something else that you were interested in, the time is right. Or it could be um, something completely different that we didn't talk about. But know that whatever you were thinking of, you're on the right track. This is ah, your personal affirmation that you can work with. You are the light. You are the light. Some of you might be light workers. And um, thinking of changing jobs to go towards a career that is more in alignment with you, especially if you're a light worker. Um, healing, divination, things like that, things of that nature, if, if that's what you were thinking about, then uh, you got your answer, <laughs> I believe. That number two, that was your reading, uh, let me know if it resonates, I hope it does, drop me a comment. I'd like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit for this beautiful message. And until I see you again, remember, you are protected, you are supported and you are divinely guided. Bye. If you chose the last pile, last but not least, with the amethyst. Baby amethyst, this is your reading. All right, yes and a question for the end, mantra for the end. First I'd like to pull a card from the Japanese deck to kind of like give us um, an overview of what this full moon is going to bring or illuminate for you. I feel like you guys need some peace peace of mind, serenity, power one also got this, 17, purple again crown chakra, um, crown chakra third eye, let's have a look at your cards, this to me is releasing, clearing up 
things making up making space for new things getting rid of the old <laughs> kind of uh, this is also um, root chakra with the, with the red 17 is the star in the tarot so maybe you guys are making room in your life for a blessing or something that you've been trying to manifest you have number two to want okay manifesting i was talking about that uh, 25 with the toy that's also a seven Forty destiny. Also pull the card for your relationships. Eleven segment. Again, root chakra. Eleven. Some people might resonate with uh, soul flame, soul mate, twin. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So it might be that for you and the last one is about work we have the nine of wands with daddy pig i was gonna call him papa pig pa papa pig daddy pig is in the house oh my god <laughs> i'm getting a fun work vibe from you guys like nine of wands uh, yeah, it's the guy behind like the, um, the fence But this is like the opposite to me It's you having that's fun being victorious You might be a I was gonna say Leo Sagittarius you guys might be fire signs Because we also had like a lot of fire root chakra like we have literally fire so Aries Leo or Sag, so Moon Rising Venus. We have uh, three number twos, three number ones, two number sevens. <laughs> what is going on with you guys? So, for some of you in the relationship department, you might find or have found a twin flame. A soulmate, someone who is just extremely special to you. Somebody you are connected to at a deeper level. We are going to be in Aries season. So watch out for a possible irritation. Uh, maybe losing your temper with somebody or somebody might lose their temper with you there is something you are being called to do there is a freedom with this bird and the, the word destiny as well like something it's making you feel some type of way you're feeling like you're being pulled back, literally uh, looking at the past, not knowing what to do, feeling overwhelmed, feeling choked, like there's no way out, basically. So it is a very, what's I saying? Peace of mind, you're looking for peace of mind, you're looking for serenity. For some of you, this might be at work. For some of you, for others, it's going to be um, personal. There is a kind of like a, a tie to the past because looking to the left. Yeah, this feeling of um, <laughs> you see, I can't even like I'm having a hard time to breathe. Literally, like what is going on with you? Something is too much to handle. Literally, too much with the three arms reaching out and it's uh, trying to grab onto something and it feels like it's not working but because it's not meant for you 
I just heard that. Yeah, it feels like something is, like I said, pulling you back. And you kind of want to move forward, but you cannot. But this is all happening for you to clear up something in your life. And once, once that is done, the clouds are going to clear up as well. And like I was saying, this is going to bring you freedom and peace of mind. So I don't know what it is for you guys. Specifically, you will know. You will know. And it's kind of... Um, you know, when you take a few steps back to kind of be able to run and jump over the hurdle that's what it's given me so it feels like some things are like being um, in stagnation or like you don't see the end of the tunnel but that is okay for some of you this might have to do with a decision should I stay or should I go right the song I just heard that should I stay or should I go Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. The being pulled back. You stay or should you go? Again, feeling stuck. Yeah, feeling stuck for you guys. Things have been stagnant for a long time. Might be in a relationship because Libra might be at work. And it is frustrating. It's very frustrating for you. Especially if you're a fire sign. It is irritating. And you're kind of looking forward to um, like being out of that phase. Yeah, phases, literally. They look like eclipses, right? Um, So know that this is just a period, it's just a moment. It is temporary. And things are going to change and <laughs> you're gonna be happy riding your bike. <laughs> this is, to me, that's what it is. Victory. It's you having fun living your best life. So the struggle is coming to an end or whatever you're trying to manifest. Right now, you're making room. You're making room. And uh, it's a bit similar to Pi 1. If you were hesitating, there's a feeling of like clearing things up, like I said before. That was 11-11 when I said that. <sighs> you guys. Think of a yes or no question. Pause the video if you need to. The answer is absolutely. All right, so this, if you were thinking about what we were talking about in this reading, the answer is absolutely. If you were thinking like, am I going to get peace of mind or am I going to get my manifestation? This is your answer. And I'd like to finally pour a mantra for you guys, an affirmation, something that's going to motivate you, hopefully, or comfort you. Okay. <laughs> the universe is behind you. Dude, I'm not making shit up. The universe is behind you. If you were thinking about manifesting, if you were thinking about a new job, or whatever you were thinking of, the universe is behind you. And th that's what I tell you pretty much every time. Or a, a variation of that anyway. You know, when I leave you, um, I always tell you. 
<laughs> and I will tell you again in a minute. But first, if this reading resonates, let me know, drop a comment. I'd like to take the time to thank you guys, my guides and spirit for this beautiful reading. And until I see you again, remember, you are supported. You are protected and you are divinely guided. Bye.